everybody, how are you? Konnichiwa! This is your host, the autistic, optimistic reactor, the lion heart. I'm going to do another reaction episode of Amazon's exclusive, The Legend of Vox Machina. Um, you know, before I get started with this reaction video, I, you know, I, I know some of you guys have probably seen some of my posts that I meet, my, that I and my family have went through a loss and I appreciate anyone who sent their love, who sent their um, condolences to me personally on social media and on YouTube. I, I appreciate it very much. Um, if you're wondering how I feel about this, it hurts. It really hurts. It's, um, you know, it's sad. Because my cousin has been like a, my, like my older brother. I have two cousins, Julio and Perito. And, um, you know, we were all single, you know, we were only childs of each of us. So uh, he's been like my older brother. PD was like the middle one. And then I was the youngest out of the three of us. And, you know, he's been like, he's been like my biggest supporter. And he's always giving me nothing but um, lit a fire in me to tell me that there was more to me, that I can do more. My family is super supportive. Every one of my family members are supportive of my dreams. But he was the one who would take my hand and push me into the pool of opportunity to try to get me to swim in it so that things can open up for me. And there's nothing more that I could say than say thank you, you know, Primo. Thank you so much for doing this for me. Thank you for opening it up to me. Thank you for putting me in uncomfortable situations that would push me to be this person that I am now. Because I feel like if I'm charismatic or if I have that cheesy smile all the time whenever I'm on camera to the subscribers, to the fans, is because I learned that from being around you when you came home and started living with us. So. Um, you know, yeah, I'm, uh, I will miss you, right? And I will make sure that I will look out and protect your son always. And I will fight to be the very best here as a YouTube reactor and make you see up there, you know, that I'm going to do this. I ain't gonna fail. I'm gonna succeed. And I'm gonna live that dream and you're gonna be able to see that. So thank you. Uh sorry. Anyway, um anyway, let's uh let's get to it. We're gonna go to Prime Video, uh The Legend of Box Machina, episode three, and we're gonna get to it. So Give me a second when I do this countdown, okay? All right. Okay, episode three titled, what is it called? What is it called? Uh, the Feast of Realms. The Feast of Realms. I'm gonna do this in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Whoa. So his family was massacred, but by- Wow! But who killed them? Oh! Mmm! It's a plague mask. Bad dream? Is there any other kind? Oh, you really have <laughs> to do that? to the stupid game. <sighs> Must you? We can't all be aloof tight asses, Jerome. I'm simply suggesting you could all benefit from some well-practiced restraints. Mm -hmm. Or how can you? Grog, give it a little shove. Hey, one sec. Oh. Alas, 
I'm only here to remind you that Sovereign Uriel expects you at his dinner. Oh, shit, that's tonight. Finally, a proper evening of protocol and civilized conversation. It's hey, Pike, want to be on my date? I promise to be on my best worst behavior. Oh, uh, yep. uh, I'm okay. Lady Laura, best we worst behavior. appreciate the gravity of the situation and will present ourselves with the utmost dignity. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a three-pointer. You see, the rules of ball tag are as complex as they are beautiful. I, I, I shall brief them on royal etiquette and manners. You have my word, nothing will go wrong. I really, I don't, it's gonna go wrong. It's gonna go wrong. What the hell is he wearing? Be preserved, be charming, protocol. But they look good, though. Just follow my lead. Drop him on. Fox. Machina? Is that all you got? Allow me. Ahem. Vox Machina. Champions of justice. Hunters of dragons. Destroyers of chastity. Right. Let's stick together. Follow my lead for formal greetings and... Or, you know, do whatever. I feel like this is not going to go well. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? What, what? You want to get freaky with me, sir? I don't even know you. You are a libertine and a cab. And I like it. Reginald, what in the world? I just asked where the preview was. Lord Cyrus and Lady Delilah Briarwood. Oh, so he knows them. What's wrong? It's... it's them. Whitestone was my home. Until those fiends took everything from me. What do you want us to do? Should we say something? Tyria, we can't. Looks like they're staying overnight. Why don't I make myself scarce and slip into their chambers? See if I can figure out what they're up to. Yeah, sounds like a plan. But in case of trouble, we should have a safe word. Brock? Suggestions? Right. The safe word is... Shanga. Sh okay. Shanga? My safe word's mommy. <laughs> Shit's about to get real. Hell yeah. Shit is about to get real. He said it correctly. Don't do that. I don't hate Grog's idea. We have to wait. Except the punching. Whoa. His belt could become a snake. That's kind of cool for a half elf. He lockpicks, his belt can become a snake, and he's good with daggers. And he's very good when it comes to males. I was rather or perhaps I might be forced to send a garrison of troops to check on your city. Yeah, do that. You need to do that. What are you doing? Are you hypnotizing him? You are right. There's no need. In fact, Whitestone needs to be protected. Yes, Whitestone's independence. Is not to be challenged. He's doing a meta a Jedi trick on him, a Jedi mind trick. Uh those are beautiful beads. I have a set just like it, you know. Beads? I've never once yeah. seen you Ew. Oh, is he talking about is he talking about anal beads? Jesus, dude, what kind of I'm not getting to say nothing about Scanlan. Hidden compartment in the chest. The sad reality is that the Girolos abdicated. They grew bored of ruling, and after their children raided the treasury, they abandoned their people to rot. Yes. 
Thank you, Sovereign Uriel, but I think we will retire for the night. It was a lovely dinner. We especially enjoyed the company. So refined. The Briar Woods. They murdered my entire family. Oh, shit. They're inside. They have to be inside. Oh, damn it. Oh, uh, beg your pardon. You gotta run! Oh, shit. Percy, why didn't you tell us? I've tried to tell many over the years. No one's ever believed me. Wait, Vax is up there. What if he needs help? Plus, he's got to squirt. Okay, I'll distract you. Go quietly. Ahem. Ladies and lords, allow Scanlan Shorthalt to delight you with an after dinner song I like to call Pull My Beads of Love. Oh, God. His pelvis is reflecting. He's a vampire. Oh! So they're vampires. Jesus Christ, sir. Come on. Oh. There's no way out tonight, my friend. Come on, come on. Oh. Yeah. Right in the shoulder of his heart. Oh, shit. That ain't good. Oh, fuck. Whoa, did he just absorb the blood? What the hell? Is that some freaking... What are you doing, Scanlan? Dude, it's like Zabuza's blade. If it absorbs the blood, it's like he gets stronger. Oh! That's right! That's right! Cut him up! Cut him up! Cut him up! Hey, watch out behind you! No! That seriously didn't hurt? Dude, is his testicles like... Oh, okay, okay, she's not dead.
Yeah! Yeah! Good for the save! God damn it! No! I had them! I had them! And you let them slip away! I... I, I didn't... Everlight... No! No, please! Start talking. Why were the Briarwoods here? What were they after? They were invited, like you! By Sovereign Uriel. Silas and Delilah have never left the confines of Whitestone before. Why here? Why now? What the hell is going on with them? Answer me. Now. What the actual fuck? Holy shit, Percy. What are you doing? Please. I'm, I'm only a servant. Thing. What the hell is going on? Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Whoa! Just tell him what he wants to know! You fool. Now your soul is forfeit. Walt, right there! What is the meaning of this? Why would you stop Guards, him? Arrest Vox Machina! Are you a dumbass? You a dumbass! What the actual fuck? Come on! Why? Why did we end the episode like a part one? We're doing a part one now with the Briarwoods or whatever the fuck they're called. That's some bullshit right now. And we're gonna start off with the next episode in now. You've ruined our banquet, assaulted political allies, and risked the security of the realm. Throw them in irons! Yeah, try to start a fight. It's been a very long evening. Some of the bride was influenced, I can feel it. Though perhaps Uriel is being too brash. Until this is resolved, you are hereby confined to your keep under house arrest. How can you arrest a house? Okay. He doesn't understand. It's a play instrument. The more you resist, the longer this will take. Oh, come on, man. It's not a weapon. I just want to serenade the group. And you're doing us a favor. <laughs> Your belongings will be returned if you are exonerated. All points of egress to this compound are being surveilled. If you attempt to escape, you will be executed. Are you fucking joking? I do not joke. I advise that you sit tight and wait for the Sovereign's inquiry. Hey, what? Was you supposed to sit here? You have the run of your key. I'm sure you will find something to entertain yourselves. <laughs> Grog! What? I know we have a lot to talk about, but I'm not turning into a vampire, am I? I hope not. I will drop the question. <sighs> so what are we waiting for? Let's fuck up these guards and bust out of here! Screw all that. We should focus on this book. I mean, look at dead bodies, wolves. It's some kind of fucked up evil diary. Ooh, maybe it has evidence that can clear our name. <clears throat> oh, really? You think you can actually read this thing? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I only just started translating it. And Lila's handwriting is like the worst, but... Uh, so what does it say? Oh, uh, it says Pyramid, Spirits of the Dead, and right here in tiny letters it says, Fuck you, Vax. Jesus, it. really? Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Can you yeah. just stop? <laughs> what the hell happened back there? You never thought to mention that the Briarwoods killed your family? Robert, I wasn't aware that you were owed information about my past. When your past comes to kill us, I'd say we deserve a heads up. And how exactly was I to know the Briarwoods would be attending? I want to know about the smoke! Sorry, Ed. Sorry. Smoke. My weapon burns black powder. Perhaps that's what you saw. What we saw was you shooting an innocent kid. No one in the employ of the Briarwoods is innocent. The boy knew nothing. 
He was terrified. Slightly more so after you exploded his hand. <sighs> when they arrived in Whitestone, the Briarwoods came as allies. They brought dark ambitions and allowed no one to stand in their way. Not even children. They slaughtered us in cold blood. What's a scumbag? You're not tutor. The men my parents entrusted with our safekeeping. They betrayed us. After enduring weeks of torture, my sister Cassandra and I tried to escape together. But... The Briarwoods know I'm alive now, and they are not in the habit of leaving loose ends. So what's your plan? Is she gonna summon zombies? Man, this guy came prepared. He kept shit in his desk. Again. What? Yeah, my arm and day. I don't get to go home until I complete it and prove myself worthy. <laughs> Which might not happen, so. I didn't know that. I'm just saying, I know you think you're alone. That we don't know what you're going through. But you don't have to be. I appreciate that, Keyleth. Truly, and for the record, I think you're damn worthy. <laughs> but there's a world of difference between your struggle and mine. Whether you succeed or fail, your family is still alive. <laughs> What's the fuss, boy? Nothing's out here. Oh! Why don't you let them go? Oh man. Everybody up, creepy shit ain't coming. What did you do? Don't look at me. All I did was make a hokey. Five of my men are dead. If you didn't kill them, who did? Uh. 
chancing I guess it was them. Oh wow! They, are they Death Reapers? Like, oh my God! It's sucking the life force. Oh no! Is a rabbit gonna be enough? What the fuck? Yeah, no shit, dumbass. Could really use my load about now. I thought you said it wasn't the weapon. Obvious lie. Not that any of these will do. Whoa, whoa! No! No! Fuck! There's gotta be something to stop these fuckers. Okay, so light can hurt them. Come on, get the light! Take the sun! Make a sun! Yes! Yeah, bitch! Yeah, yeah! Oh, please, I hope they finally killed them. Otherwise, that shit would be a problem. Where did those foul things come from? We told you. The Briarwoods. And they'll no doubt send more. We can't stay. <clears throat> Don't make us fight you, too. You intend to stop those that did this to my men. Yeah, clearly. You have my word. Then go. Give them hell. And wish me luck trying to explain all this. No goodbye. I'm going to Whitestone. And so are we. If we beat Silas, his charm on Uriel will fade. And we can clear our names. Honestly, I wouldn't last a day in prison with this face. Look at me. I'm a snack. Oh, God damn. But... No more secrets, all right? Understood. Thank you. All of you. Huh. What do you want now? Careful where you aim that thing. Huh. See what I mean? <laughs> oh, shut up, Scanlan! I'm not going. What? what do you mean? I can't hear the Everlight. It's like you said, Grog. I think I need to tell her sorry. Properly. At a temple. Well, I'll come with you. Like old times. Just you and me. I have to do this alone, buddy. And they need you. Well, what if I need you? <laughs> you 
can always talk to me. Even if I'm not around. You'll feel me there with you. Okay, so that was episode four. Uh, we got to see the Briarcliffs to be introduced to them ever since episode two when they made the cameo appearance and massacred, well, the husband massacred three bandits. We got to know that they're connected to one of our main character, one of our heroes' story backstory. And the fight was great. We're, we're getting more insights. Things are getting more heavy. And now that they got one of the items that the Briarwoods need, which would possibly show their um, how much of a threat and danger they are to the kingdom, and that they'll do anything to get that book back, uh, now the, the heroes bring the fight to them. So this was just, and the fact that Pike has lost the one thing that makes her, you know, handy which is the, the light that she carries. So now she must separate from the group in order to regain that power back so that she can be a help to her friends, her teammates. Um, hopefully she'll go, she'll find the light and come back very soon, I hope so. But until then, it's only gonna be the six of them. And I am looking forward to seeing where this goes. Guys, if you liked this reaction video, which I hope you do, please, if you can, hit the subscribe button below. Full episode reactions, uncut, are on my Patreon, but you are watching the whole YouTube thing, so if you can, hit the subscribe button below, hit those views, share my content so that I can provide more stuff for you guys. Other than that, I must beat you, adieu, and like the saying goes, goodbye, mwah, and good night. Bang! You, 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 I need some motherfucking views. You, you, you.